Okay, and now we want to check if this is Weaponsmith, yeah. Okay, science time. We want to know if this rusty minus two silver great sword upgrades into a rare uh, silver great sword. We need like a mutator we can uh, we can give to him like I guess we can give him improviser. Let's do agile. I like to have agile around uh, just for um, manipulation of timeline if I need it. But we have athletic for it, so let's just do this so we can test it. I don't really want to get rid of anything else, so let's do this one. Okay, we have 30, yeah. So, for anyone who doesn't know, Weaponsmith has this new function that he can equip any weapon. And then you give him a mutator and then you can uh, enhance it, uh, gear with it. So, um, you send him out, it costs you 30 alcohol. And then you enhance a weapon with this mutator. And basically, the like what comes out is this weapon with a mutator attached. And you can also overwrite mutators that already exist, also in legendary gear, for example. You can like give it the mutator you want, which is a very cool improvement. And obviously weaponsmiths uh, enhance weapons and armorsmiths enhance uh, armors. You can use any of them. So you send them on a mission, then it takes one day and they come back. What I don't know and what we find out right now is if this weapon upgrades to a rare silver or if it stays a rusty, which is why we use a shitty mutator because it's science okay there's our armor smith we also want to keep them in for now okay has created a masterpiece the rusty silver greatsword what a masterpiece <laughs> okay let's see it did it upgrade <gasps> magic magic has occurred look at that <laughs> it's beautiful wow Genius. Some call it cheese, I call it science. <laughs> Bug reported. <laughs> Loving the stream quality, is this a new PC? No, it's still my potato PC. Why, is it different? I don't think I changed much. But thanks. <laughs> Why not give him Necro skin? Ah, oh, I like Necro skin on him, and I don't have a replacement on Somex right now. Oh, you mean those? Those are not Necro skins. Those are Evolution stones. Uh, this is a new thing. So this is kind of the counterpart to Life stones. Life stones you use on them on like your mutate, and you upgrade it by two. Evolution stones are used on a character and it upgrades an already innate trait by two levels. But I don't really have any innate traits. For example, the Vanquisher has a feast level 4 or something, right? Which is like 26%. And we upgraded this feast to level 10. This is a level 10 feast in him. And he doesn't come with that. We like just pumped f uh, three of those stones into him. So you can upgrade like the traits they have already with evolution stones. The downside of this is you cannot use it on your Urto. This is Urto, and you cannot send Urto onto missions. You need to send them onto mission onto a mission for the evolution stone to work. So you cannot upgrade Urto perks with it, which I would like. Uh, Delirium is an Urto perk, and I would like like I would love to upgrade this by two, right? But I cannot. So, oh yeah, that reminds me, we need to absorb tyrant crits. I think we rejected this once, but if I take it out and in again, it should give me the option to absorb it again, and then we can use our evolution stones on him. Right, and we want to do the same with the silver helmet. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, this is the armor smith. He can equip any armor. And what do we want to give him? Crit counter, right? Yeah, we don't need this for anything else. Perfect. Here. The equipped rusty silver helmet does not fulfill the mutator gear requirements. Huh. What does that even mean? <laughs> Why did this work before and not now? <laughs> I'm confused. Huh. It's kind of different. Interesting. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> 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 
Maybe David updated it in real time. Well, I didn't update my my game, so I don't think so. I have to leave the game to update it. <laughs> huh. That's weird, isn't it? Wow. That's kind of rude. I don't understand the difference. It worked with the weapon, but it doesn't work with the armor. Hmm. Do we have another helmet? We have like an iron helmet. I don't want to like, like I don't want to do a crit counter on an iron helmet, to be honest. I mean <laughs> nah. That's a bit extreme. Sure, we keep it around then. Um you want to make sure to send them out again. The downside of them is they so the upside is they can equip every armor or weapon and enchant them. The downside is they can equip any armor or weapon. So you'd your loot table will be diluted with all kinds of stuff you don't want, like maces and staffs and all kinds of crap. So you want to send them out uh, scouting so they are safe. Scavenging can get them, get them killed and stuff. So just send them scouting while you don't use them. And now he's kind of good with the silver greatsword. So we could use him. He has no absorptions, right? Because he's a revenant. Uh, he does actually want the crit counter. There's 110 stem. I really want to respect him, but I don't have the life essence for it. I'm not sure if I want to run him or not. I probably should. Like he's pretty solid. Let's get him killed real quick. <laughs> because that's what usually happens to revenants where in my team. He could have a lethal blow. That's reasonable. We have like good stun setup. And he's stalled by default. Doesn't want run strike. Doesn't really want poison crits. Can have improviser. Sure. Do we put him in for Shiggy? No. I think I want to wait. I think I want to wait until he absorbs stuff. And then um we transfer the Mokka's mark over and give him birdie. And then we put him in. So in 12 battles. But not until then. Or like we put him in if someone's injured or something. Alright, legendary spearmaster. This is a we kinda need to do this. Alright, cool. Enough talking. Let's crack some skulls. Hmm. Oh yeah, we have uh the the event going also. Hmm, one here, three here. What are you? You're birdie. Hmm. Hmm. This is a hard map. They're all so fast. Do you all have birdie? 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 We have four birdie ones? You're kidding me. <laughs> there are four birdie floaters. Huh. That's a lot of birdie floaters. Down. Fly like a butterfly, sting like a floater. Hmm. How do I fight this? I think I fight it over here, right? It's still pretty ugly, but like, I can hide here. They only have three movement, and those spikes and the slow tiles protect me reasonably well. I have like pits here, but I don't can, I don't think I can utilize those. Uh, he has to go through here. I can jump on them, like. It's very hard to fight into those three floaters and like the engager. I, I get I just get killed if I stay here. I can retreat and reroll the map if I want to. If I go up here then I commit to the fight. This is a pretty hard fight, not gonna lie. Hmm. I will how strong are those? 1300? Not that strong. He will go down here. They will be occupied for a little bit. And they have a hard time. They will try to go around. I think I go up here. That's probably the best. Hmm. He's 10th. <laughs> really? All of those go before him. That's so bad. <laughs> uh, I think he starts here then, huh? That's a cool spot. Uh, 1, 2, 3. So he cannot be reached. Like I don't want him poisoned right away. At least those go before him. And he doesn't move because he's the guard. It's kind of funny that those that like this small birdie floater guards the spearman. He, the spearman could just sit on him, <laughs> and he would be gone. <laughs> uh, but sure, why not? 
Do you have reflexive skin? Of course you do. Why wouldn't you? Great. Uh, he will engage me. I think I want to do it something like this. Hmm. It's awkward. I want to take a slow tail with him. I need to bleed him and I need to stun him. He has 3k HP. Stuff is getting serious in this fight. Okay, let's do it like this, I think. Yo, Summer, what's up? Oh, Peace, that's right. I called you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should call you Peace. You told me that. I'm sorry. It's been a long time. I usually forget. Uh, I usually don't forget that, but... I did. I apologize. Hmm. This doesn't really help right now. I think he wants to hide a little bit. He's birdie after all. Hmm. Take one hit here. I think we do. Hmm. He blocks him here. Whoever stands here gets engaged. I think I want my spearman engaged. I think my spearman holds down the fort here. I could have also have my other spearman here with Lyrium. Nah, I think this is best. He wants to stick around to get to him. He doesn't really want to go after the Marauder. I need him on the Marauder eventually. And then... He could also block him, right? Nah, he's gonna be engaged here. It's actually pretty bad. I think I wanna go here and flip him over. So, like... He's more inclined to go here. He's controlled. Yeah, I like that. And then he goes here after and stuns him. Okay. I like this. Go here. And here to block the engagement. Okay. Oh, they go after him. Hmm, not bad. They go all after me. That's bad. I can push him back into the spikes. <laughs> he didn't go yet. Oh, because I'm birdie. He goes down also. Huh. That went pretty well overall. Okay. Those beasts are super helpful right now. Not anymore. Now they all turn around. <laughs> okay. Uh, I need to set up this backs. Nah, I can't backstab him yet. I really need him in. He's so slow. He's the slowest person on earth. Ah, uh, I cannot trigger his reflexive skin so often. I have a murdering sense though. So maybe I just do. Maybe I just go for it with my delirium. But then I spent my delirium and cannot use this on the floater anymore. Huh. I think I go for it. Like he's too slow, let's face it. I need him next to it. Um I'm gonna do this one, so he's also next to him when he walks here, he swaps with him and then dances. Then I have two good outcomes and one bad. And he deals with him. I'll do it like this. Damage reduction doesn't do anything. I'd rather keep them. Alright. Let's do it. Don't hit my assassin. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> At least he's done. I think that was better than waiting for him. Hmm. He's bleeding. He needs to be a little bit careful, but he's mostly fine. Hmm. He's so slow. Maybe he should get birdie. Honestly. Yeah, I think I want him birdie, huh? There's a good chance we pick a birdie up. There are four in the field. <laughs> Every single floater on the field is birdie. 
Um, take the slow, take the slow. Mm, we want to transition over here. We want to fight in here. For sure. At least he has super regen. <laughs> He's like Superman. Um, we can throw him here. And they get rid of him. I think we do it with this guy. Like whoever we throw down there gets eaten by floaters. Gets dunked to death. Hmm. Mm, he goes in two. I think I block this. Mm, I didn't have to, huh? That's fine. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done this. He doesn't have region of his own. Mm, not next to the mushroom. They are not friends today. Hmm. Wait, did I activate him? Oh god, I think I activated him, huh? Oh no. <laughs> Disaster. Disaster. Hmm. I really want to reach this place. Like, the. I really want to activate those bits if I can. He goes in 18 and 16. I don't have a realistic way to slow him down now. Mm, it's fine. Mm. Get back. <laughs> I can bash him here. I can bash him here and he's dead. I like the blocker here, so he doesn't get poisoned as easily. I really need those guys out of my face. Like, I don't want to kill them, but I really need them gone from straight under me. Hmm. I can't really walk up, can I? Like, I need them to walk towards me. I need the floaters gone first. Rock in a hard place, something like that. Shit, I can't do that. I have to stay for at least one turn. Hmm. He could be okay. I paid him in, but he hits him first. No, he dies first. He dies here. And then he comes up. Hmm. He hits Hellsmile, I'm pretty sure. How much armor do you have? 700 still. What are you? Your bleeding is gone. He goes here, so I cannot end here or I get taunted. I think I accept this poison. And try something. If I go here, he comes here. Most likely I go here, I bash him. He has 3k HP. I need to bleed or bash him. He has reflexive skin. I prefer to pit him. Mm, I really want this guy to go here or here, but he won't. He will go here. That's also fine. I'm okay with that. I think I go here, but then he goes here. That's not good enough. So I take the poison also on him. Yeah, I didn't have to take the poison on both. <laughs> At least this is working out somewhat. Hmm. Throw some traps here. This is an assassin's mark that doesn't really help. Throw one here. And sit for now. <laughs> I shielded him. <laughs> wow. Why did he not get hit? Huh? Did you see that? I think that was brother in arms, right? Wait a second. That was weird. Blocked 103 damage out of 154 with a shield. Why do I not get poisoned? 
will attack any adjacent units. Does it not poison anymore if you stand next to it? Was that changed? Only if you hit it? Huh. Hits Hell Smile, hits Hell Smile. Also, why did it only hit Hell Smile? Why does it not, like, uh, attack Kale also? Hell Smile blocked with a shield. <laughs> Wait, that's not even Hell Smile. That's the wrong one. Okay, okay, that's. I'm looking at the wrong one. Where's the. Where's the mushroom attack? Is it not in the logs? Has finished. Was slowed mud. Yeah, this is not Hell Smile. This is Andrew. It's looking at the wrong one. Um, it's not in the logs. Puffy, stinky. Nope. It doesn't show up. It's weird. He did lose HP, I think. It could have also been from the attack. I don't know. That was weird. Okay. So he can move up and like get rid of him. That's very strong. I really, really want to do that. Um, he just gets rid of him, right? I'm pretty sure he can. Nah, that might not be enough. But he should still hit him. What do you do then? You sit here, that's fine. This is fine. He's gonna hit me. I could go up here and absorb the engager. The engager will jump on Hellsmart here. He only has 600 HP left. He does 500 ish. That's a lot. And those are pretty far. He goes 11, he goes in 10. Can I interfere afterwards? He goes in 13, he cannot. The assassin can if I want to. The assassin can slow this guy down. Mm, 1, 2, 3, 4. Slow him. And then block. Then he gets poisoned, pretty sure. But he doesn't get to shoot. Only he gets to. Maybe he puts down my assassin then. Then he would be in trouble. He could also... Hmm. He cannot swap with him. Well, he can. He can still reach him. Okay. So he can swap with him. He can go here and then stun this guy. Then he takes the poison, but I'm pretty sure he can heal through it. Like, he has so much healing. Then what do you do? You just stand here and look pretty. You have 3 Delirium. You can like use... I can use him as bait for this charge. Nothing else. He goes in 18. Okay. Just stand here and look pretty. You got this. I can just throw him into this pit, huh? Yeah. Why don't I do that? How about that? <laughs> Why did I miss this? Uh, he goes here and gets rid of him. So he has no real use either. I guess he gets him closer. And he goes around. I don't want to hit into him. He is reflexive. No, he doesn't have reflexive. What is this? What a jump. Mm, I can smack him, but then he hits... No, he still hits the poison. No, he has a big QRS. They won't hit him anymore. So if I go forward, he gets poisoned. But he kills this guy. Killing this guy is pretty big. I think I'm accepting poison on Chubby Boy for this kill. He doesn't even. Wow. Mm, there it is. He found a way. Haha! <laughs> Got him. He doesn't come through here. They all want to avoid the mud tiles. This is why I wanted this position in the first place. Because it was like sheltered from here. And I could abuse it. Yeah, I need to get rid of him before he gets healed. And I need to deal with him somehow. Bonked. Mm. Mm, he's engaged. 
He can go here, take double spikes and pit him if I wanted to. But Chubby Boy can just kill him. He's weakened though, but 1800 with strong wizard should be no problem. Uh, he goes after him though, so I cannot really reach him. Fuck, he's gonna live, isn't he? He's gonna be annoying as hell. Uh, I can boop him back. Hmm. Is hammering counting as an attack or not? Considered a normal attack, yes. Up to no good. Yeah, the mushrooms. <laughs> For the third round of the Beastmaster, yes, sir. No, honestly, I am. If I find one, I do it. Uh, this guy is annoying. Um, I think I actually just stun him. So he is free and he can kill him. This is how much I want this guy dead. It also helps that I can do this then yeah. because he's free and no longer engaged. So I do this, right? How do I deal with him? He wants to really smack him in the face. Is this all? So I think one more and he's free. I really want to stun this guy. He goes before me. Hmm. Oh, he doesn't have... He's the one who doesn't have it. I also, like, lost the uh, focus right now. Because I didn't pay attention. Hmm. You know what? You're annoying. Please go away. Man, if I wasn't weakened right there, he would have gone away. Far, far away. Mm. If I go here, he gets to reach me. <laughs> he has so many provokes. <laughs> he has so much concentration. Mm. I can't really dance. Let's do this, probably. I'm coming for you. Oh no, the floater is coming for us. Oh no, the floater, he's angry. What do I do now? I don't know. It's over. We had a good run, but now the floater is coming. Actually, we need to save him. Like, he's gonna get murdered here. Do I just give him a target? How many star- uh, how many crits? Two? Fuck it. Hmm. I still cannot dance on him. I should have set this up. Oh. Let's bleed him and slow him. Sure. How many delirium? Two. Can he reach? Yes. Bonked. <laughs> Into the backstab? Nah. Into the shit. Oh my god. Yeah, have some damage recovery. At least he's gonna heal, right? Ah, that was loud. I got bunked by peace. Hey, thanks for the sub. Thanks so much. I need to... I always say this, but I need to, like, address... Fuck, he died. <laughs> this mission was so pointless now. Oh, no. They don't come with angels today. No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck you, floaters. Uh... I need to address like the the volume of that. I have a clean retreat. I give him up and I run. He goes on three. He cannot reach anyone. He can reach him. Uh, hmm. 
Então... I really want to do that, but I need to go here. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> okay, you win. Mm -hmm. And it was a Spearmaster also. Spearmaster would have been pretty solid, honestly. Hmm. I want to keep my crit here. And he's still immobilized, so I don't have to worry. Uh, he can... He can ram... Like... He can reach me, though. I'd rather him get propped if he really decides to go for me. What the? Wait a second! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Peace gifting out the subs today. Damn! Thanks so much. Five gift subs. Oh no! It's still so loud. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for the for the volume. But thanks so much. Holy shit! That's so generous. Maybe this can help. <laughs> oh no, do I have to do it now? Mm, shit, shit. Hang on. Yeah. Mm, okay, okay. Let's do it really quick before I forget. <laughs> oh no, I'm not in time. You know, I set this up at the very beginning when I started streaming, and I never thought I would get a sub. <laughs> like, there are different things, like for followers and for subs and stuff. I didn't think I would ever, like, anyone would ever sub to me. So, <laughs> I just didn't do it. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it now. Uh, alert. Subscriber. Sound volume. Where's the other one at? Okay. Where's this one at? Okay. Let's try this one. It's also very hard to set up when you're not streaming. Because then you don't get like all the interactions. Okay. Can I do a test? Test, test. Where is the test button? I need to save settings, huh? Okay. Do this real quick. Okay, that's better. Okay, I like this better. That was better, right? <laughs> cool. But yeah, thanks so much, Peace. That was way too generous. You're awesome. Hmm. Wait. Hang on. I'm gonna back I'm going back to the game in a second. Let me just uh Yeah. Da, da, da. Let me just finish this up real quick. Hmm.
Right, how do I spell the name? Here. You have a fancy new badge from me also now. If you want to type something. Alright. Thanks again. Let's go back. I think the the sound is better now. And I don't jump out of my seat next time around. And you also won't. <laughs> Hopefully. Mm. Okay. Um. Here's what? One delirium left. Hmm. If I go here, he gets to jump me. I don't really want that. He doesn't have a shield anymore. I think I do this. Strong versus crippled. <laughs> this interaction is so cool. And you can force ranged units to shoot while they're melee engaged. And then you counterattack them in melee. A pound. Mm. Yeah, they don't poison anymore, huh? I think that was changed. Interesting. Let's not get him poisoned and killed. I mean, he still has armor left, right? It looks like he doesn't have armor because he like, has so low HP, but actually he does. He's just... Uh, low from delirium. Hmm. I really wanted to get him out, but I really don't want Kale to be in here. Hmm. He's gonna be a problem. Also, this guy had painful healing, huh? Is he gonna jump Chubby Boy? Maybe. Let's do this, I guess. He's probably gonna get proc by this guy. One, two, three, jump. Or he's gonna get rocked. One of them. Mm. Oh, not quite. 58 left. Easy. You missed a massive sub gift, hey. That's true. I don't think I've ever gotten a sub, a sub gift before, actually. And then it was five in a row. <laughs> That's good, man. Mm. I think I'm getting pretty close to actually cashing out at some point. Okay, you guys want to hear some numbers? Uh, I actually checked this out last time. So it's not too long ago. Um... Yeah. I've been streaming for um, 10 months, I think, now. And I have like, considering like 10 months, I have like a pretty decent amount of numbers, like just hours streamed. Um, I never streamed before, so that's when I started. And like the policy on Twitch is that you get paid in hundreds, like you get paid in a hundred dollars. So before you have a hundred dollars earned, basically, you don't get paid out. Like you don't see a penny. And I've never been like paid out before. <laughs> so I think my total amount in 10 months is uh, like $43. And I think I made half of that today or something crazy like that. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Just to put like five gift subs into perspective. I've never got like, this is probably the amount of subs, like half the amount of subs I got over 10 months or something. I don't know. So yeah, eventually I will get paid out and the money will be super sweet because it's like, you know, when you play cards with your friends and you earn money from them, that that money is way sweeter than any other money because I don't know where it came from, right? It's just a, it's just a feeling you have. 
and then you go and buy like something cool like a video game with it and it feels different <laughs> that's in, that's the same feeling for me i don't i can't explain it any other way Ye creed hey <laughs> no i just like wanted to share that twitch bans you no you can like talk about that that's pretty public information hmm So if you wanna start up fresh as a Twitch streamer, if, you, if I break it down, I don't know how many hours I've streamed, but I probably make <laughs> less than less than 20 cents an hour or something <laughs> over the last 10 months. <laughs> probably way less. <laughs> hmm. He's fine, right? Yeah. Man, I'm sad we missed this guy. Hmm. Egg is gone. The priest. We want the priest in two villages. Those are the the Valdor that are chasing us. I think we skip this one. Under siege against elite swampers. Uh, I think we skip this one. Under siege against swampers is so difficult. They have so much region, and your allies are so stupid at targeting. Uh, if you're fighting, if you're fighting scavengers on map one and in, in under siege, even if they're stronger than you, you have like allies and they shoot them, and it actually matters when they shoot them because uh, they don't have region. But uh, like here, they don't really kill them very well because they're scattered all over the map and they don't, they're not coordinated and stuff. And Swampers have so much region from like, mainly like, shamans are like, tossing out region and then they have like, recovery stuff and uh, cannibalism if someone actually dies. And nobody ever dies and then you lose this fight pretty hard most of the time. It's very difficult if you're not very strong and very good at taking them out. <laughs> the X-Men. 20 cents an hour? Yeah, if I'm being generous, <laughs> it's probably way less. I didn't do the numbers. Hmm, blood is pretty solid. Alright, first for second fight. We don't even have life essence. I really want uh, pushing crits. Pushing crits would be a game changer for my uh, spearmen. Alright, let's do it. I don't play under siege missions. I think the rewards aren't worth it. I mean, if you can do them, the rewards are pretty worth it. I would say they're pretty cool, but there are like certain factions I would avoid, and Swampers is one of them. Uh, I would only do them if you're very confident and if you have a strong team. And I do have like a semi strong team, but like, I don't know. Sieges are difficult, especially with no ranged units and like. Yeah, it depends on the layout and stuff. It's just very easy to lose, and the rewards are fine, but only if you, like, don't lose horribly. Hmm. First for second fight. Let's go. All the scary units are back there. You always want to watch out for Berserkers. Uh, on Desolation, they got Furious on top. So now it's very easy for them to reach full focus and hit you three times in a turn, which is 1.2k uh, damage here. He has 400 times 3. Very common. So, always watch out for Berserkers. You never want to mess with them. And second are Axemen. Axemen hit pretty hard, but those are non-elite. So they have like 200, 250 here, but they pierce pretty hard. Also their grab, of course. There's another Berserker with like near 400. Uh, pretty sure we pull those two. Or they pull us. <laughs> Mm, maybe we go here and take out the Berserker instantly. Maybe we pull here. We could pull the Sniper. Mm. This is probably a better pull because we get four of them. But this is a safer stand afterwards. Mm, this is pretty open. They come out either here or here. Where do they go? They can only either here or here. Mm. Interesting. I think we want to fight here actually. 
So we're gonna pull those two first. Are you stalwart? You're not stalwart. Really? Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't I didn't realize he wasn't stalwart. Oh yeah, there was there was Shiggy 1.0. I need to like rename him. Shiggy 2.0. Uh we already lost one footman, and the first one had I think he had stalwart all the time. But this one doesn't. Huh. So he cannot realistically pull this. Also, he is not stalwart. So someone else has to do it, otherwise they get pulled in. Hmm. I know, it doesn't super matter who does it. Hmm. This is in pull range already, so we can just stay there. Shit, why did I... I need to be here. I need to block the pulls in them. They should be out of range, but they should come here. Yes? No? Maybe? Hello? No? Huh, that's odd. How about now? Right. <laughs> I don't want to take unnecessary damage on him. He doesn't have sustain right now. I also, honestly, I don't want to spend this crit. I want to save it if, if I can. Any other crit is like replenishable. They have patience crits only. But my Vanquisher, yeah, he found his target. <laughs> Uh, my Vanquisher has a uh, crit awareness, so he gets three crits, and you only replenish one if you don't have one. So his three crits are like actually spent if I spend them, which I don't really want right now, because it's like a very easy um, first couple of like the the first two are pretty easy, right? I don't need to spend resources on them, actual resources. I should have like micromanaged it so he gets the flesh eater buff, to be honest. Let's pull those four with him. Is there there's no pull, okay. I wanna do it with uh footman then. I mean this should pull, let's be honest here. Oh shit. I thought I had mm. <laughs> fuck. I thought I had footman. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. So this then. I cheese them with engaging strike. Oh, that's right. Like he is, uh, he is a uh, deflector. Uh, lockdown is very strong against them in general. Yeah. Engaging strike is surprisingly good against them. Like, not surprisingly, it's, like, as good as anything else. Anything else you can find, like, stun. Um, immobilizing is very strong, as always. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, immobilizing is, like, the hidden OP of the game, I feel like. Especially against bosses. You can, uh, they have immunities against all sort, like, all kinds of stuff. But there's no immunity to immobilizing. And pinning people down is so good. Hmm. Are you coming or just standing there? <laughs> He's gonna hurt me. No, don't hurt me. That was a weird pulling range. I feel like it's kind of off in this village. I don't know why. Usually I didn't have to take their first strike on them. There, have all the traps. I don't really want to walk up to them. Especially since I think we we also pulled them. Um Sure, let's do this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh no. Oh yes. I forgot he stuns him. 
He would have hit me three times here, though. Hmm. I don't want him in anymore. He has six traps left. Should be a little bit more conservative. I'm not sure why he's not... Oh, he is moving. Okay. Hmm. I think I want him next here. But I don't want to spend his... Um... I don't want to spend his Flesh Eater stack. I want to stack up a second one. Cool. Are they moving? Is nobody fucking moving? What is wrong with you people? Pierce that armor is so cool. It's basically a free, uh... Like a free pierce on him. Especially since he has like a crit on his first strike most of the time and then he has crit counter. Mm. Okay, they're coming now. They're free against Verbeast? You mean under siege? Yeah. Verbeast aren't very good at sieging. But it can go south against Verbeasts if you don't pay attention to their charge and they actually get in. Um. Your allies can give them weird paths. Alright, they're all coming now. <laughs> and one of those against Forsaken and under sieges? Yeah, Forsaken have this... I think uh, the, the goal with Forsaken was uh, they should be strong in paths, right? And I think it has been pretty well accomplished, I would say. Like, they can overwhelm you pretty hard. Whereas, uh, if they're alone, they're not as strong. Hmm. I should have moved with him, I think. And I should not take a free hit on him, uh, from those guys. Hmm, I don't want to move forward. I want him to move as far as possible. Let's sit here. How far can he move? I can give him a free delirium if he... No, one, two, three, four. I want to manipulate him to go onto this tile. He can move through with Lightfoot and he can move here. And he will. Hmm. Now he doesn't even have to Lightfoot anymore. Sure. He doesn't? Oh, I gave him the good armor. He has now 1700 HP on top. They ignore him. I totally forgot about that. He has 1700 H uh, uh, armor. He has 300 HP. But in their eyes, he has 2k HP. <laughs> Damn. Okay, then. Um. Okay. New way to break your armor. I don't do it myself. I let them do it. Hmm. That monstrosity. It's fine. Hmm. I need to make sure he doesn't get a like he doesn't get high ground on me here. Can double bleed him. I gave him a little bit of forsaken wrath, and I need to be mindful of berserkers coming in. Those are the scary parts. Like the scary ones. One... No. Where's the other one? Here. And two here. Okay. They have what? They have the Avenge. Okay. That's fine. Hmm. I want him towards the Berserkers. Hmm. I don't want to move in here. I really want to taunt him. So he stays here. Can do this one and then sure. Just crit back. I wanted to keep him here. Oh shit, he wasn't stalwart. Oh no. <laughs> this is how they get you. You get in a bad position and then they. Do the same thing to you that you do to the enemy in all game. Mm. 
this is why you pin them down so they cannot light foot swap in and out um i don't have a good stun on him i think i stun him with this guy this is why i wanted to save as many crit charges as possible on him so i can like chain crits on them and stun them like as they come in this is also a pin down <laughs> fuck you <laughs> it's so hard to get away from them oh my god i think i take this one oh he's still arm he still has armor left that wasn't my best move huh well, that was not my best move. <laughs> he still has armor left. Um, two, three. I want to go here so I can swap with him and he, I can give him more range. And he can go up there. He's immune to arrows at least. Oh, there's the other one. I really want to get rid of those guys. Also of him, but he's pinned down, he's fine. I think I get him. Throw a provoke here. It's fine. Now I can dance on him, he still is a shield. Uh, let's get this guy. Oh, I didn't kill one? Hmm. That's awkward. Okay, he's out of here. <laughs> I really want him there to throw some more traps if possible, but I really want him to survive also. Oh, chubby boy. If I could marry you, I probably would, because you're so handsome. Mm. Mm. He dies to poison, right? Oops. Hmm. Yeah, he's still dead. I really need to get him up here or I need him to get out. I think he can just provoke and walk. He doesn't need to provoke, right? They're still immobilized. Okay. We can clean up here first. Do I have a blood strength? I think I want to save blood strength for them. Let's just throw out more provokes just to clear our bar. Does he have a crit? No. Oh, shit. Ah, <laughs> protector. The new preemptive strike. Okay, like in my eyes, he was dead already, so I didn't really count him anymore. But obviously, obviously, he was still there, right? <laughs> and he protected my man splitter, my crit man splitter with life steal. He handled those two pretty well though, I gotta say. Okay. I don't want to walk up here. I think I just retreat. I need to respect the Berserker still. The Berserker can one turn me. I still have angels, which is helpful. And he also has um necro skin, but still, I need to respect them. Goes in four, it's fine. I think we cleaned up a fair bit of them, but still regrouping. Removing high ground from them. He goes in seven, is he mobilized? No. Hmm, he's scary. He cannot go here though, right? If I stun him, I will stun him. So he cannot swap here, it's fine. He can come in here. Hmm, awkward. He goes on three. He doesn't have uh, Furious yet. Man, he's scary. Cannot reach here. 
Hmm, I should give him stun. I don't have stun ready. That's the Avenge. This is the... This is the Forsaken mechanic, of course. The Elites either have a strong Versus or they have Avenge. Which is this one. This is a pretty good slow. Where they send one person after the one who kills the Elite. Uh, like, he spawns and then he comes after you. He cannot hit him, I don't think. He doesn't have a crit though, so he can't slow him down. Hmm, he goes before him. He needs to be a little bit careful. He's without support right now. Also, he needs to be careful. He still has angels though. Does he have angels? Yeah, he's level 60. Hmm. I think we spend one and then get the crit back. This is... Do you have, do you have a crit? Yeah. This is the point where we want to spend blood strength. He has 16. I think we can just get rid of him here. Nope. Nope. <laughs> My feeling was wrong. He has 50 left. Shoot. It's still fine. Mm, he doesn't have a crit, huh? So we probably control him as we start. Okay. Looks pretty good. First for second fight. Mm. Oh, he still has. I always forget that they have a shield and a helmet. I tend to forget that one pierce is not enough against them. And then I just assume they don't have uh, anything left anymore. No, let, let's not go in there. Let's not do that. The Necro skin. Hmm. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Outplayed. Someone complaining about the guarding mechanic? So that units who don't have armor shouldn't be able to guard. Hmm. But if the guard mechanic triggered, it should reduce the armor's HP. I guess this event triggered him, hence the rank. <laughs> um, so, I... When I started playing the game, I was of the opinion that shielding is too strong. And it should be nerfed. And I still kind of think that it's pretty strong. It's going for Somex, so he's safe here because he's taunted. Um, and I also proposed like a lot of different solutions so <laughs> okay here is how it works uh, with uh, like suggestions for the game right uh, I have a lot of suggestions I just throw them out there sometimes they make it in the game and like 90% of the time, my suggestions were pretty bad and they don't make it. <laughs> I think players are very good at ex like... Players are very good at determining what's wrong with the game. And players are generally very bad with, with proposing new changes because they're bad at, bad at balancing. But good at like telling you what what's wrong. So, like most of the suggestions are just not very good, including mine. <laughs> and I agree that, like, guarding is pretty strong, but there should be strong things in the game. Uh, but I don't know how, like, what would be better. There's, like, this thing where you could, like, uh, lose uh, durability of your shield every time you guard, like, a certain amount, and then with without a shield you cannot block anymore but that's very convoluted and I think it's also very frustrating if you're like the blocker yourself and then suddenly you cannot like it's suddenly right 
like you run out of shield and you don't really realize it because it's not very apparent unless you mouse over and then suddenly you shield your your unit that's one hit away from death and it's faced with two units right and the first attacks and you shield and then your shield breaks and the second attacks it and it dies and then you're furious and want, want to never play this game again <laughs> that's that's also something you have to realize right that's also happening to you then that's another very frustrating moment and it's also very like not very intuitive i don't know there are a lot of changes a lot of suggestions and people just have to realize that most suggestions are bad <laughs> and they don't make it into the game yeah that's my take on it but like shielding got nerfed uh shielding got nerfed from 50 to 60 stamina You're not using a floater? Mm, damn, you got me. Pistol got a thousand XP. Um, he got into catch up range, I think. I think the mechanic is in a good place, honestly. Yeah, it's fine now, I think. Like, it's not too bad. Mm. <laughs> it's, uh, when I complain about it, so I also complain about preemptive strike, right? <laughs> but I only complain because I I miss it. I like run into it and I don't realize I do. I I actually think uh, preemptive strike is one of the most balanced things in the game in terms of like like compared to spear wall or something. It's like very good. It's a very good ability. It's in a very good place. But I complain about it, and that doesn't mean it should be changed. It just means I should be better. <laughs> so. When I complain about discarding here, uh, like in the last fight, then I complain about me not seeing it, not like about guarding being OP. But when I first started, I thought guarding was OP and I think it was like at 50. Like whenever you can, whenever you can cre create an invincible unit in a choke point by just guarding with one, one guardian, it, it seems pretty busted. But I don't think you can prevent that really without taking the whole guarding away and I think that would be a bad thing. I think guarding is pretty pretty fun in itself and just because like very OP things exist in a game doesn't mean you have to use them. It's the beasts. The beasts are here. I have 236 flesh. I remember when I butchered the monk for flesh because I had zero and I needed to heal my vampire. Man. <laughs> uh, he needs to be faster. He also needs more HP. Let's get more HP. 146. Okay, he got so much random agility off his battle hardened. 9 agility. Oh, he also has athletic. We can apply Monster Heart to something. I don't think we have a good we have a good target right now. Maybe find like some good armor or something where we throw it on. 